we know that a double integration can be evaluated very easily by changing the order of integration. Now, how to do it? Okay, we see here how to do or how to change the order of integration of this integration. Right? Here we first graph the four figure roughly. And what are the four figure? The first figure is x equal to 0, x equal to 2a, y this is equal to x square by 4a, and y this is equal to 3a minus x. Because this is the range of y and this is the range of x. And if we draw the rough sketch of the this figure first, this is x square equal to 4a y. Okay, this is a parabola with vertex 0, 0 and the branch on the upper side. This is the first figure, x square equal to 4 a y. And this is a straight line x plus y, this is equal to 3a and this is given by this. This is 3a comma 0, 3a comma 0 and this is 0 comma 3 Okay, and this is x equal to 0 and x equal to 2a. We find first this point and if we put the value of y here, we get x square, this is equal to 4a into 3a minus x, that is 12 square minus 4ax, this is x square, x square plus 4ax minus 12 square, this is equal to 0. And Clearly, x square plus 6ax minus 2ax minus 12a square, this is equal to 0. So, x plus 6a into x minus 2a, this is equal to 0. So, x equal to 2a here. So, the point of intersection, this is, if we name this point, is p, here x is 2a. And what is the value of y? The value of y is clearly y is a because y this is equal to 3a minus 2a, this is equal to a. Right? This is 2a comma a. So our another two figure is x equal to 0. So this is y axis and x equal to 2a. This is the line parallel to y axis. And our region of integration is this the shaded region. Okay. Now to change the order of integration, we divide this region into two parts. This two part. We draw a line PM. This is perpendicular to y axis. And we write the integration I into two parts. This is first part is I1 and the second part is I2. Let it be I1 and let it be R1 and it is R2. So, we first calculate here I1, sorry, this is I1 over R1. This is given by. We first write here, this is dx, okay, sorry, this is dy and this is dx, f x y dx. Right. Here it is clear that the range of y, the range of y is, this is y equal to a, y equal to a, and this is y equal to 3a, y equal to 3a, okay. So from y equal to 0 to y equal to a, so this range is y equal to 0 to y equal to a, we first write this. And if we, if we draw a strip, parallel to x axis. This is the strip and strip is start from x equal to 0 that is from y axis. So x equal to 0 and end point on the parabola. What is the parabola? This is the parabola. So here x is x is root over 4 a y. So this is root over 4 a y. Okay this is the first integration. And what is the second integration? Second integration is I2. This is over R2. 
and here similarly y this is equal to here we write dy and x this is equal to here we write fxy dx we first write the range of integration of y this is y equal to a to y equal to 3a right a equal to a to 3a and what are the range of x the range of x is given by if we draw a strip parallel to x axis then the strip start from y axis this is x equal to 0 and the end on this straight line this straight line so here x equal to x equal to 3a minus y okay and now we add this two integration to get the integration i okay and this is the change of order of the integration thank you thank you for watching